Hey everyone, it's Lori and welcome to my channel. I hope you are all doing well today. So, it is time to move on to our next project. So, what that means is Christmas is over. Um, I am actually filming this before Christmas, but, you know, by the time it posts, it will be after Christmas. I hope you all had an amazing Christmas with your family. So, I have decided that the next project I'm going to be working on is a bee journal. Um, I've had it in mind for quite a while, so I had this beautiful box um, that my sister had given to me, and I have been putting items in here as I get them or come across them um, for a bee journal. So I thought I would just bring you guys along. Um, I have gotten all of my Christmas um, put away at this time. Let's see, what is today? It's the 18th when I'm filming, Saturday the 18th. Um, but yeah, so I've gotten all my Christmas put away, uh, except for my Tracy Fox that I'm doing. I am doing her um, uh, December daily. Yeah, guys, she's giving away free digitals uh, every day. So that has been uh, loads and loads of fun, and I look forward to do that. And that's a smaller project that um, I have time to do in the morning time before work. So it feels really good to be able to... Uh, get up and craft a little bit so we're going to go ahead and get into this i do know that i want to do a um hard cover as well as a soft cover journal i have my fabric somewhere i'm going to have to find them i don't know that they're in here um and i kind of looked around in here and didn't see them so i had already picked out um three readers digest let's see what am i going to do with those let's stick those there um covers that i thought may work um, for a bee journal so I do have this one's got a really big spine okay so this is not a reader's digest but yeah it would be abbreviations and symbols okay this is like a dictionary um, but yeah so I thought these would be good covers for a bee journal so we have those in case we decide to use um, one of those and I have um, this piece of embroidered fabric and once we get into that I can tell you who it's from because you know um, this was just a piece of scrap that came from somewhere but it's got a B on it so yay yay this right here was um, I think a thank you gift from Amy over at Crafty Cat and it has a B in there so I just stuck the whole thing in here um, and then I have some different uh, ephemera that I thought would go with our bee journal. I uh, do not remember really where any of this came from. There's another one of those little pockets. I wish I knew where that came from. Or no, that, that piece is a paper. Um, and then there's this. Is that a sack? Oh yeah, that's cute. So that's a little bag and it's got a little bee there. Um, and then we've got this here. Look at that. You make work such a nice place to be. Cute. Did I make those? Yes, I made those actually. I think this was one of DG, DD uh, Fairgo's project. And then just a couple of pieces of scrap fabric there that may work. There's another one of those pockets. Um, and then this set right here uh, has some bee stamps in it. Never even opened it. This is Anna Griffith. Um, yeah, that's never even been opened. I don't remember if I picked that up at an estate sale or a thrift store and then this looks like just some um, cardstock here guys it's been so long since i've chunked anything in here i have no idea what's in here okay i have a bead die cut and then like a reef bead die cut here and honeycomb die cut so that'll be fun um and then this was just from some kind of embroidery book or something just pages when i came across some bees i grabbed them and these are some digitals okay this was a, a freebie friday from july 16th so that tells you how long i've been chucking stuff in here from cara brandon creations so these of course will look really good with um, B journals. I thought those colors would not uh, be nice. And this is a um, just like a little bag thing, like a seed seed bag, uh, but it has bee kind on there. So I kept that. And then these are just some sunflowers that I had cut out of a magazine. Again, we have some more 
pages with bees on it. Like I said, guys, over the last quite a few months, uh, whenever I came across anything that had to do with bees, there's a bee. I was just chunking it in here. I just barely lift the lid up and chunk. And the, here are some honeycomb stencils, it looks like. Oh, maybe these were from... Yeah, these are Amy over at Crafty Cats. Um, so these are her stencils, so that'll be fun. This right here is... Okay, so some of the digitals here. It looks like My Porch Prince, uh, Little Lady Prairie, uh, Laser and Leather Craft. I got some stamps. Uh, Annabelle 1909B, uh, The Book Vandal Shop. Digital Fit uh, SWK Fabric, so that's where I had gotten my fabric from, if I could find my fabric. Uh, Beehive Floral, so yeah, that was just some of the information there. So this is a lot of the digitals and the ephemera. Look, there's another little something there. And then this was some of my um, jelly printing that I had did that I thought would go. And then this looks like some more digitals. Not sure whose these are, so I'm going to have to look um, at all of that. And then this right here was, yeah, was not happy with that purchase, so we won't talk about that, I don't guess. Um, and then these right here are little B word phrases. And again, I will find out where I got... All of this from now everything in here okay there's my fabric back there um so that's some of the fabrics um right there so we will get into that later oh i'm sorry guys but yeah when we really get into um all of this stuff i will make sure to have the uh names of all the shops and where stuff came from so that i can let you guys know um, but yeah, I did buy, as you can see, several different kits and ephemera from several different places to use. And I'm just going to, like, you know, mix and match them. Um, kind of combine them all together instead of just doing uh, one out of one thing. So yeah, so I have got some organizing to do. Um, so I know this is a really short video, but I just wanted to go ahead and start... Pulling this stuff out and let you guys know what was next um, on my project list. And I believe I have more stuff, so I'm going to have to look and see um, exactly what I did with it. So I thought, since I'm not positive yet, um, if I want to do a hard cover first or a soft cover, um, that we would just start out with making a, some ephemera, so some pockets and journaling cards and all of those other fun things. Alright guys, thank you all so much for joining me today. I'm going to go and try to get myself organized so that we can get going on making some bee journals. Be my first ones ever and I'm really excited. Thank you guys so much for your support. I really do appreciate it and we'll see you next time. Bye bye.